What's up guys? This is going to be a very simple video, how to understand solar, how to do basic solar. Me and Lisa just got back from Colorado. Uh, we picked up a bunch of stuff, these batteries included. We had them in an RV out there since 2020. Was able to revive them and clean them and bring them back to life. Um, so let's start with the solar panel. So when you're doing solar, you obviously need a solar panel. I got mine on the roof of the carport up there. You see you got four of them. Just follow these wires. I ran them here into the house, right here. They're coming through the wall. Here's your solar panel wires. It's optional, DC breaker. In case there's ever a surge or anything, you can kill the power from the solar going in to your uh, charge controller. But again, it's optional. It's not that, if you have an emergency, you can just unscrew it, pull your positive negative out. So here's our solar panel wires, positive, negative. These two are our battery wires, positive, negative. I'll put a link for this um, charge controller in the description. And I, I do not like Renogy. I don't like their products. However, this Rover 40 amp MPPT charge controller is one of the best charge controllers you can get. Renogy hit a home run with this one product. Anything else you buy by Renogy, their inverters break, their solar panels are cheap crap. They overprice you on everything, but this one product, they, they literally hit a home run with this one. So the link will be in the description box. I'll also put a link in the description box. Let me see if I have one handy. The, I like these, these little cheap Chinese uh, charge controllers. If you're on an ultra budget and you only got a couple bucks, these, these things are amazing. They work for lithium, they work for AGM, they work for lead acid and they're like, I haven't checked in a while, but last time I checked, they're like nine to twelve dollars, which is incredible for a charge controller, and they last forever. So I'll put a link for both in the description of this video. Basically, your charge controller is the brains of your entire operation. So solar panel to charge controller, batteries to charge controller. That's it. If you understand those two basic principles, you can understand and do off-grid solar. It's that easy. Now the difficult part, say you were trying to charge up this battery bank. Here's the plug for it to charge it, right? You're like, well, where do I plug my devices in? Because you got a panel and batteries going to this here thing, but what do I plug it into? That's our third moving part. We take a power inverter. In this case, I fashioned some battery jumpers with some eyelets. We connect the eyelets to our power inverter. And the battery jumpers on the battery and we have power and it's that simple. We plug our device into our inverter. Um, as far as inverters go, I would recommend Cobra is probably one of the better ones. This is the ones the truckers use. If you're trying to do anything over like a 2000 volts or 2000 watts, you're going to want to run 24 volt system. 12 volts, not good for high power. A lot of people don't understand that when they get into off grid. They think they can power their whole house on a 12 volt. It's impossible. It's like flowing water through a... A straw compared to a garden hose you need to step your voltage up but anyways let's keep this video simple if you have any solar questions I would love to answer them um, I love free energy and off-grid power and doing projects like that so if you're doing a project you got questions if I can help you I will if you need links for anything let me know all right God bless y'all have a great day